Hello and welcome. In this video you will learn how to correctly adjust and set up the air gap of a Syntron electromagnetic feeder. Before we begin, here are a list of the tools required for an air gap adjustment. Spanners or 18 inch shifter, feeler gauges, T-bar or ratchet, sledgehammer, socket set, extension drive, pneumatic or hydraulic multiplier, or you can use a mechanical multiplier with a torque wrench. The air gap's original factory setting can be found in the installation, operation and maintenance manual for your feeder. If you do not have a copy of the manual, please contact Syntectron for further information. OK, let's begin. Isolate the equipment prior to commencement of any work. Once the proper safety precautions have been taken, remove the magnet cover from the back of the feeder drive unit. Refer to the manual for the air gap's original factory setting. Check the existing air gap by inserting feeler gauges between the core assembly and armature assembly pole faces. Please note that in some cases, the air gap may not require adjustment. It is important to check the air gap at not only each side, but both the top and bottom as well. Use a feeler gauge of adequate length in order to check the air gap between all of the pole faces. If an air gap adjustment is required, loosen the core adjusting lock nuts and the two core adjusting set screws on the rear of the core assembly. Now partially loosen the four core hold down bolts securing the core assembly. Completely close the air gap. Snug up the core hold down bolts so the core assembly can be jacked out by tightening the two core adjusting set screws. Tighten the core adjusting screws a little at a time going from side to side to ensure that the air gap is opened evenly. Check the air gap after each step to reduce the possibility of opening the air gap too much. Repeat this process until the desired air gap is obtained. If the air gap is more than 0.2 mm different from the top of the pole face to the bottom of the pole face on both sides, the core must be shimmed. In this example, the pole faces at the top are 0.3 mm closer than the pole faces at the bottom. 
To even out the air gap, a shim must be used between the machined pads of the core assembly and base casting. A shim of approximately half the difference is recommended. In this case, a 0.15mm shim is used. Now that the correct air gap setting has been reached, completely tighten the core hold down bolts. Refer to the manual for the correct tension. Recheck the air gap measurement to make sure that the air gap hasn't changed after tensioning the core hold down bolts. Please note that in some cases, the air gap may require more shims. Now completely tighten the core adjusting set screws and core adjusting lock nuts. Refit any covers and fittings that may have been removed during the air gap adjustment, ensuring that a good seal is maintained. When adjusting an air gap it is important to remember these key points. Remove the magnet cover and check the existing air gap. Loosen the core adjusting nuts and set screws. Loosen the core hold down bolts. Close the air gap. Snug up the core hold down bolts. Open the air gap. Check the air gap measurement and shim if necessary. Tighten the core hold down bolts. Recheck the air gap measurement. Tighten the core adjusting set screws and lock nuts. Refit the covers and fittings. If you require urgent breakdown assistance, spare parts, training, or would like to book one of our experienced hands-on personnel to come to you, please contact Syntectron. <laughs>